will be working in acrylic paint and the colors used will be ultramarine blue, hooker's green, ivory black, and then titanium white. In this painting, we will be working in layers. For the first layer, I am mixing ultramarine blue with a good amount of titanium white, and I will just be coating my entire canvas with this. This base layer will add depth to my painting, and it will also intensify all of the other colors I will be using. Now we will start painting the actual mountain peaks. So I am mixing blue, green, and white together and I'm trying to make a light bluish green. I am just painting on a thin, very erratic zigzag line and this will be the furthest mountain peak away from the viewpoint. And I want this to be light in color because the further away something is, the further away an object is, the lighter in hue it will be. Now I am mixing the same blue and green color and this time I'm just adding a little less white to the mixture. So again I am just drawing the very irregular shaped line for the top of the mountain peak and because this layer is a little bit darker than the layer beforehand it will allow the viewer to perceive this mountain range as being closer and then pretty much repeating the same step as before, only adding even less white to our mixture. Um, just go in again, create a random line for the next layer of mountain peaks, and blend downwards as usual. If needed, you can take a little bit of the white color and blend it with the paint that is already on the canvas. The rest of the painting will just be the same process as before, adding less and less white paint to each new layer of mountain peaks and towards the very final layer uh, just add black instead of white to make it very dark and rich. Because this final layer is much deeper in color, it will be perceived to be the closest from the viewpoint. So if you can see the first layer that we have, the lightest layer, looks much farther away from the viewer as the final layer. And here's a finished product.